How do you do, fellow kids? I am surrounded by hair, and to any normal person, this would be disturbing. But we're not normal here, are we? Hi, I'm Shell, I'm a cosplayer, and we are finally doing the video that people have been asking for, for literal years. It's taken a bit, I'm sorry. But before we get into all that, if this is your first time on my channel, welcome! Or, if you are a subscriber, welcome back! Thank you so much to all of you who have subscribed. This past week we hit 500, which is just crazy. And I've had so much fun making videos for all of you and interacting with you in the comments. So again, thank you so much. Now, wigs. Like I said, people have been asking me where I buy wigs for years. The most common question from new cosplayers is usually, where do I buy wigs? And I think that's because wigs are kind of tricky to purchase. Most people have never bought a wig in their entire life, unless it was for like Halloween or something. So wig buying comes with a learning curve. You need to know not only what length and color and style you want, but also what kind of quality you want to look for. You want to make sure your hair won't be sticking out from underneath the second you put it on, or the fibers won't melt if it so much as sees a hair dryer. Wig buying is also difficult because there are so many options. You can get wigs on Amazon or eBay, but there's also so many wig-specific companies like Arda, Epic Cosplay, Five Wits, L Wigs, Rockstar Wigs, the list goes on. So, where do I buy wigs? Well, I counted for you just for this video. In four years of cosplay, I have collected 16 wigs. I was expecting that to pour out more easily. Just... Okay, I give up. Anyway, I have 16 wigs. This is only a small portion you see here. Out of those 16, two are from Arta Wigs, and the rest are all from Amazon. I think Amazon wigs get a bad rep in the cosplay community, because people just assume they aren't high quality, but actually a lot of the wigs that are sold on Amazon are sold by small wig companies. My two personal favorite wig companies that sell on Amazon are I'm Style and Map of Beauty. This one is a lace front. I use it for Bean from Disenchantment, and it was only $40, which is an amazing price for a lace front. This one was only $10, and people usually think this is my real hair. <laughs> I've had lots of people think lots of wigs from Amazon are my real hair. Of course, none of them are. Um, in reality, I'm just an egg. So, But I've also bought wigs from just random sellers on Amazon and still gotten really great quality products. So how do you find these wigs on Amazon? Can I like warp edit myself like Star Trek? I don't know how to do that in editing. I'll just spin. To the internet! I'm over here now! Hi! I feel like this is the moment where I should have like the streaming gamer set up with like the cute cat ear headphones, but I don't have those because I don't stream or game. But however, I do have headphones and cat ears. Isn't that sad? <laughs> DIY cat ear headphones. Perfect. That's all you need. This tutorial is going to have two sections. First, how to find the wig you want, and second, how to determine the quality of the wig you find. So let's hit up that search bar. Let's say we're looking for Diana Cavendish from Little Witch Academia. I'm gonna type in first Diana Cavendish wig. So you can see the results there. Let's see what we get. Okay. So the first four results are all the very similar style wig Diana has. Technically she has like these light green streaks in her hair, and you know, to each their own. If you want to cosplay her like that, you know, more power to you. You're more canon than I am. But personally I do not like the green streaks. Uh, I call it her lettuce hair, <laughs> and I really, really don't enjoy the design. So obviously, this is my Diana wig. I chose to just make her like pale blonde. 
So, okay, so the first two rows are pretty much what we've got for results. They are all the kind of green style streaked wig, but you know what, that's not really what I want. So let's try, instead of writing the character, let's try blonde wig bangs and see what we get. So the first tip I have for you here is you really should vary your search keywords. So if you don't find something under blonde wigs bangs, then you need to add another word. So there's nothing I like here, so I'm going to say blonde wig bangs curly. And this is a little bit better. Okay, I kind of like this one. Not bad. That's kind of what I'm going for. The most of these have straight bangs up. Oh, here we go. That's something exactly like what I want. It's long, it's pale blonde, it's got the side swept bangs. So that's a really good result. And all it took was just another search with a little bit of a different wording. Now that I'm on this result, the second tip I have for you, if this doesn't turn out to be the one you want, you go down the page and you find the suggested other products. Oh, so here we go. Here's one from my favorite brand, Map of Beauty. And that's another really great wig, another pale blonde, side swept bangs, curly. That's exactly what I want. And that one's only $12. That's really good. Another tip I use if I'm really struggling to find a wig is to find a similar but more popular character with the same hairstyle. So for example, when I was looking for an arena wig for my Food Wars cosplay, I actually looked for wigs for Umaru-chan from the Hamster Girl anime, and they have pretty much identical hairstyles, but Umaru-chan is more well known and has a lot more wig options. So I was able to find a great wig for Arena by finding a similar character. All right, now that we have our wig, let's figure out if it's good or not. The first tip I have is just, you know, it's so basic, but you gotta do it. Read the reviews! Honestly, I think you can get really great things anywhere on Amazon as long as you just read the reviews. I don't know why people don't. So let's go straight to ratings. Click on that link. Ah, behold! We've got images, we've got a ton of reviews, it's an average of 4.2 out of 5, which is really good. And here's all of these keywords. Luna Lovegood, Light Blonde, good quality, great wig, and there's a couple bad ones like Tangles Easily, but you know, that's kind of what happens with wigs, especially long curly ones. So the first thing I do when I look at reviews is I look at customer images. Specifically, I'm looking for a certain type of images, and those are ones from cosplayers. So my second tip for you is to look for reviews specifically from cosplayers because generally cosplayers are going to have a higher standard for quality than someone who's just buying a wig for one Halloween costume. So let's scroll on through here. Look, that's a Anastasia cosplayer. So she looks really nice. This is outdoor lighting too, which is always a plus. It is red though, and we're looking for blonde. So I want to look specifically for blonde reviews. Let's see. Ooh, that's a really lovely picture. Do, do, do. Ah! Oh my gosh! Ah! So pretty! Is that Lucky Star? I don't know what that's from, but she looks so good! Oh, okay. Goodness gracious. Sorry, I'm just... I love looking at cosplayers! Ah! Okay, okay. Blonde wig. Blonde wig. Okay. That's a pretty good look. Look, this is she! Oh, okay, so here is this wig. They bought it twice uh, in two different colors. It's a great length, not super thick. That's fine by me. I don't like thick wigs. I think they look very unnatural. And that is a really pretty Sailor Venus cosplay, and the wig looks really good there. And again, it's natural lighting outdoors, which is a huge plus. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, um, next tip for you look for reviews within the past year because sellers on Amazon sometimes change where they get their products from. So this one is from March 15th of 2020. It's a She-Ra cosplayer who I adore so much and they look so freaking good. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm jealous. I want this wig even though I have one that looks exactly like it. 
<laughs> this is this is not a map of beauty wig, by the way. I'm not like, you know, plugging this wig specifically. I'm just looking for a similar one. Goodness gracious. Okay. So those are the general tips for how to determine if a wig is good. You want to look for cosplayers. You want to look for recent photos. You want to look for photos with natural lighting. Here are some tools you can use in the Amazon review section that are specifically going to help you with those. So first of all, rather than top reviews, go to most recent reviews. Those are going to show you all of the reviews that were obviously made the most recently. So you're going to get all of the ones from previous months and especially the past year. Remember, you want to be recent. You can also scroll up to this section, this is my favorite trick, where it says have a question and you can type in a keyword that you want to find reviews with that keyword. So I'm going to type in cosplay and this doesn't have to just be cosplay, this could be the specific character you're going for or maybe a specific feature, but this is going to show all the customer questions and customer reviews for it. So this person used it for an Amethyst cosplay, this person used it for She-Hulk. Overall, everyone who bought this wig for cosplay seemed to give it four or five stars, which is a really good look. That's a really big pro in its favor. And you know, this has 2,500 ratings. For it to have over a four star rating out of like nearly 3,000 people. This is a good wig. Map of Beauty is just a great company, frankly. And it comes in so many colors! Oh my god, I want it! <laughs> I'm terrible. I own 16 wigs and I definitely do not need another. So this is the kind of wig that I would definitely go ahead and buy on Amazon. Now that we're done on the internet, back to the real world! <laughs> Using these methods, I've been able to buy 14 great quality wigs on Amazon. Like I said at the beginning, I also have two wigs from Arda, and they are good wigs, but I don't really like to buy from Arda for like a few different reasons that maybe I'll get into in another video. I have a lot more wig tips like styling, wig care, wig storage, so if you want to see those, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make another video. Thank you so much for joining me today, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you next week! Bye! There was this weird reality show that I was scouted for back when I was living in England, and the premise was like, you would go into another contestant's bedroom without ever meeting the contestant, and going by the items in their room, you had to like kind of figure out what kind of person they were. And obviously I didn't do the show, because all I could imagine was someone walking into my bedroom and being like, okay, there's like some, some comic fan art, they must be a little bit nerdy, okay, there's some books, they must like to read. And then they open a drawer, and there's just 16 bags of hair. And they're like, oh, she's a psychopath. <laughs>